Oké. Okay. Is toen uh, 60k dat ik. I have and have been a member of the Blackfoot Confederacy, the Blackfoot Nation where I come from. My people years a few years back we had an armed confrontation over water. We won a Supreme Court ruling out of that where we <coughs> were able to express to the this alien government here that the water to us is not just something to use. The water is a way of life. It is also a representative to us. It teaches us. It's our university. It has more meaning to us. And this is the stuff that the reason I'm here, I represent my nation. And what I'm doing here is that Judy and what her people have been doing, they are exercising a right as any other nation has that right to do that when they are in distress that they can ask another nation to come and help as what the Americans have done to the Canadians the Canadian government and what they're doing with their fight with ISIS and all that so we have that same right as nations what I'm here to more or less support my allies here because you got to remember Judy said did not wake up two weeks ago and all of a sudden said, I'm going to go and commit a criminal act today. She did not wake up and all of a sudden say, I'm going to disrupt Kenora and the white people and get them mad at us again. No, Judy and her people, as one of the speakers here had mentioned, because I remember the fight for Anishinaabe Park. Mm -hmm. I remember the mercury poisoning. I remember what the forest companies were doing. Judy, what she's doing today is just following what her nation has always been doing. That has to be understood and crystal clear. The people here today, why we're here, is what we got to really take the message home, not only to the outside, but to the people in this community. CN is the culprit here. They are hiding behind the municipality. They are hiding behind this court. They are abusing taxpayers' money. When CNN knows the responsibility of the agreement of our people that we've had because we've had an agreement with CNN since the beginning when they built the railroads through. So they understand treaty law. They understand that Judy represents a treaty called Treaty 3. She has a right to exercise as any nation does when they are threatened by an outside force. This outside force is CN. What they've done here is they have hit behind a, a jurisdiction here when they know that they should have put this fight into the federal courts. That is where we belong. We don't belong here. And I don't want mm -hmm. this town here to assume that we are asking for privileges. But they are being used. This court here in Kenora is being used by CN, CN. And that message has to get out because this is the way corporations use little municipalities and they're the ones that keep us at each other with this racist kind of tone that they that they know that they can get away with and hide behind it. But what we need to do here is we need to remember that what Judy and Treaty 3 and the people have been doing here, they've been doing this since the beginning of time. It is our right. We are not criminals. We don't fight. We don't put bombs on ourselves. We don't go and take over buildings. Our people we have always. My battle was for water. What's happened here? Water. What happened in Oka? They were fighting for pines. My people, we don't fight. What we do is we defend the way of life, mm -hmm. which is nature. So as a member of the Blackwood Confederacy, this is why I'm here. I'm here to exercise my right as a nation. When another nation asks for help, this is what we need to do. So I am asking all other nations across this country that they need to honor the cry and the plea of Judy and her people because right now they are being attacked by a ne negligent corporation that is abusing their, the powers in this country when they know that they have this, that we can't say that they're stupid. They are doing this knowingly. They need to put this into the federal courts. We have no right to be in this building. I believe that this is where the fight needs to be brought to. And 
whatever Judy and her people decide to do, the Blackfoot Confederacy will stand behind her mm -hmm. because that is our her right to ask wherever this goes. But the thing is, is you've got to remember, we are nations of people. Mm -hmm. We are not what the white people here in Kenora think of the First Nations. We are nations of people. We are these people that have a way, a life. We have our own jurisdiction. We have our own ability. So I'm honored to be here to represent, but I'm also saddened that again, it is our women that have to stand up Look at what they're doing to our murdered and missing women across this country. And here we have a woman standing up. Our women are burdened. And yet we have a corporation like CNN coming after a woman. I mean, that is our enemy. That is how they don't deserve no respect whatsoever. But they need to be held accountable. This town should be mad at CNN for allowing this to happen in this jurisdiction when it should not be here. So I'm honored to be here and I'm honored to represent my people, but I'm also very proud of what Judy and her people have been doing because they've been living through hell protecting water. And the signs are still here. The mercury poisoning are still has affected their generation. So Judy has every right and her people have every right. Whatever they choose to do, the Black Confederacy will stand behind them, wherever that may go. So it is an honor to be here today as a member of the nation to support another nation, because that's our right. So, uh, I hope.